March 25th was my grandfather's 100th birthday, and a lot of people have asked me if he was here today, what would his message be about how we're going to feed 9 billion by 2050 and in the next 100 years where agricultural needs, agriculture needs to focus? I think he'd probably tell you there are three areas that we need to be concerned about. And the first is the next generation. It's important for us to continue to train the next gen generation of agricultural scientists. We need to engage students. We need to engage those even outside the ag sector because it's going to take and people from various backgrounds across different disciplines to help figure out how to feed 9 billion people. Part of the reason the Green Revolution was so successful was because my grandfather trained thousands, what he would call his hunger fires, young scientists and farmers, and those who are truly made the Green Revolution a success. So we need to continue to reinvest in that and, and move our um, next generation forward so they will become the next Norm Borlaugs and, and leaders in agriculture. I think the second thing he would talk about is the role of the public and private sector. The um, need for funding and advancements in R&D and biotechnology and, and the other components is really important and we need to realize that we aren't getting the um, funding and the support and we need to re-engage um, the funding entities and those outside of agriculture to understand why it's so important because we're going to need a lot of technology and improvements to feed 9 billion people, especially with um, climate change and scarce natural resources. And I think the third thing, and, and this is something he was really concerned about towards the end of his life, but it's become really a huge problem now, is the misunderstanding and misinformation that's spread about agriculture. And that mainly comes from the groups who are anti-science, um, anti-GMO, and um, anti, they're environmentalists, they don't understand the role of biotechnology and agriculture. And what we in the ag sector need to do is we need to start addressing the public differently. Our messaging needs to change. We need to make them understand why it's so important to support innovation in agriculture and technology and, and even the role of biotechnology. Without this type of research, we are not going to be able to figure out how to f feed 9 billion. So I think we really need to work on our messaging and um, engaging the public and making them just basically understand the importance of agriculture and why agriculture has to lead the way and, and the research to move into the next 100 years of agriculture production and the future of agriculture.